I'm so excited because today you're going to be seeing how I made tasty wheat from the matrix. Here you go, buddy. Breakfast of champions. If you close your eyes, it almost feels like you're eating runny eggs. You know, a bowl of snot. So let's get started. So let's talk ingredients. You're gonna be needing white rice, oats, a little pinch of salt, and a rice milk, which I made my own. It's super simple. I will include the recipe I followed in the description below with this recipe. So first off, you're gonna take your pot, go and put it on stove. I turned it up to like medium low. I put two cups of the rice milk into the pot and then I put a quarter of a cup of rice into that pot. Now, when I put the rice into the pot, I was like, this is such a tiny amount of rice. Like, but you, you, I'm sure other people know rice expands quite a bit and blah, 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 blah. Just don't freak out. And then I added a little pinch of salt. So you heat that up, you get it to a nice little simmer boil. You don't want to go too crazy. You want a, a, a gentle, gentle boil. And you're just, you know, you're going to get friendly with your spoon because you're going to be stirring the pot a lot. As far as time frame, uh, I don't know how long I was stirring for. 20 to 30 minutes? You don't have to stir it constantly. Just every few minutes, come back, stir it up. You'll notice it's starting to thicken. The rice is expanding. It's becoming more creamy. Now, I think I reduced it down a little too much. At one point, I added a fourth of a cup more of rice milk to delay too much reduction. So I added a teaspoon of the quick oats maybe a minute or two before I took the pot off of the heat. And at this point, you want to go ahead and mash the, the rice just to kind of break up some of the larger pieces. I ended up adding quite a bit of liquid afterwards, 12 teaspoons of rice milk afterwards. You know, when you take it off of the heat, it's going to thicken a little bit more too. So that's why I had to add so much. Maybe if you are able to not reduce it down so much, you might not have to add so much liquid. And now you're done. <laughs> So this is how it turned out. I am so excited. So I'm going to give it a taste. Um, that's like freaking delicious. <laughs> yeah, I can see where the consistency would remind somebody of like, like a bowl of snot or like runny eggs, but like, you know, it's kind of like a thinner rice pudding, really. So if you like rice pudding, like. So I'm so glad I did this. You know, there's no like a recipe out there. Nobody has made this. And obviously I can understand why, because it doesn't look the best and it's not supposed to taste good, but We've made a version that tastes good, that you can make and have like a marathon of the matrix and really feel like you are a part of it. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I will see you guys all next time. Bye bye Everything the body needs.